In 1928, when Hammondby Hall was officially opened, governors, staff and girls gathered round a huge log fire in the school dining hall. It was suggested that the flame they saw burning should symbolise the spirit of family which existed among those first few girls and staff, and should also serve to remind every pupil of the ideals for which the school stood. Every morning since then at assembly, the lamp has been lighted by the head girl, and responses made. Every pupil becomes a flame-bearer. To practice these ideals, and to take them out into the world, and also to establish this family spirit within the school. May the spirit of the flame burn in you. And in the hearts. The flame prayer. The power who dwells in light and virtual, and gets his own with an humble and contrite heart, inspires at this time the true devotion to thee and to this school. Returning to the early days, at the service of thanksgiving in 1969 for the remarkable life of the founder headmistress Frances Hargreaves, the first chaplain to the school said these words. To everyone who knew her, she was Harry. Harry was the kind of person around whom legends gather in their lifetime. Legends are lies that are nearer to the truth than the truth itself, or they are exciting embroidery that give warmth and colour to truth. She had limitless enthusiasm and expected her new school to share it with her, and they did. Life at Hunmanby Hall in the early days was exceedingly colourful because Harry herself was a colourful person. Frances Hargreaves died while on holiday in the July of 1969, and as the first chaplain continued in his address to say, Harry at rest. This is quite unthinkable. And as a Christian, I firmly believe that Harry is more truly herself now in that other world, where human gifts are not wasted, and where the striving spirit has even more for which to strive.